What's going on, guys? Kolo here, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. So, today we're reviewing Shapeshifter's Paul Eberi on our true. He just came out as an SBC and he's a 93 overall and he's 6 foot 7. I believe this should be the tallest center back in the game. Yeah, he's bro, 6 foot 7 should be crazy in that center back position. So, yeah, he's also got medium high work rate, um, right footed, 3 star skill moves, and a 4 star weak foot. High defensive work rate, always expected on a center back. He can only play in the center back position. He's from Southampton and from Nigeria as well. Southampton, I'll be honest, I no no Southampton Southampton players come to mind when I try to look for a player that I can link to him um through like the Southampton um link. But yeah, Nigeria, I mean you've got Osimen, you've got the Wobi card that came out a while back, the foot birthday card, you also got um Okocha um uh, winter no foot fantasy yeah or coach fit foot fantasy i mean you've got decent nigerian players in the game but yeah i, I believe it's just those three that are like very good and yeah so the links the links are is a bit of a problem because you actually need like you need a lot of Premier League players if you want to link this guy. But yeah, also looking at his stats, he's got 87 pace, 80 shooting, 80 passing, 82 dribbling, 94 defending, and 96 physicals. So the pace for a centre back is decent. 87 pace gone for the shadow to boost it a lot. So it brings the acceleration to 93. Yep, 93, and the sprint speed to 90 um 97 so the shooting i mean he's a center back you don't expect too much but giving him 90 shot power i mean it's okay if you ever have the chance to shoot with him then the passing passing for a center back is also nice as well 94 shot passing 88 long passing agility for a center back again is very good 85 agility um 83 balance but i just re reviewed Hugo Lloris and this guy actually has the same or even wait what was Hugo Lloris agility i forgot him but i think he should be either the same or his agility is more like it doesn't just make sense but yeah defending is looking insane with that shadow chemistry style bro every start is 99 except the defensive awareness bro literally every start also the physical is looking very very nice as well that 99 strength should be very very nice to work with the trait he's got solid player dives into tackles and power header trait as well power header trait should be nice also the dive into tackles i mean you just expect this guy to be very very good in that center back position because of his height and his defending stats but yeah i can't wait to use this guy this is the team i'll be using him in very good team brought in my boy Osimen as well my nigerian brother if you guys don't know i'm also nigerian so yeah but yeah that's the point without further ado let's get into the games and see how good he is this guy wants to score me straight from kickoff can you imagine oh first involvement in the game bro look how tall he is <laughs> what the hell hmm? and he doesn't feel bad on the ball as well give it to Simen, your nigerian brother nah he can't nice come on nice block Osime, stop that. Osime, stop that. Osime, stop that. Whew, this guy is a beast. Come on. On our true. Nice. Whew, look at that dominance in the air. Amadu, are you sleeping? Run back. Come on. Nice. Whew. Look how he just stopped the lad there. I love the way this guy goes into tackles, bro. I love it. Onachu. Nice. Onachu again. Nice. Wait, it's chill. We're not done. We're not done here with you. Nice, Kimpembe. Feels like you can't just get past him, bro. He's just so big in that center back position. <laughs> nice. Onachu. Love that. No. Oh. Nice. On oh, what a tackle, bro. What was that tackle? That was literally a goal. If he didn't get that tackle right, it was either a goal or a pen. And uh, now we concede. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, now we concede. Yes. But, oh, bro. Yeah, that was a very nice tackle. I just got um, carried away and we conceded. On oh, Come on. Nice. Look at that reach, bro. Keep it going. Just keep it going. Nice. nice oh she man nice bro look at that nigerian connection <laughs> like word that was a nice goal 
Come on, Obadu, we've not going for a header with you. See him in front of the post. Um, let's see, let's go. He probably is keeper a bit, actually. So let's use a left footer. Saka, where are you? Let's do this. Okay, so front post. I think this should be enough. Oh, come on. How is that not on target? Come on, man. Oh, yeah, let's try it again. I think this should be perfect. No, move quickly. He was blocked. Oop, Obadu, we have him in the box. Obadu. Obadu. Oh, we actually scored a goal with him. <laughs> nice. Number seven. Ooh, that's his default celebration. Nice. On our two. Follow the run. Nice. 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 Can we switch this to Saka? What a switch. Please don't tell me that's off. Ah. Okay, so we just finished playing the game, so it's poor every on our true. Um, we played six games, we scored one goal with him, but no no assist and also a yellow card as well. Um, this guy, I mean, for a center back, he's very, very tall. <clears throat> you know, most center backs are tall, but him, bro, he's built different. Even in game, you can notice that he's very tall, and that's six foot seven height is very nice to have. The pace, I mean, he was fast, he was very fast, especially with the shadow chemistry style. It was fast in game then the <clears throat> the shooting for you guys saw the goal i scored in the box i'll be honest i didn't expect him to finish that by because you know normally he's a striker so i think because of that reason ea gave him like a little bit of um shooting stats you can see 83 finishing 90 shot power it's one attacking position so yeah the goal he scored was a decent shot in the box then the passing passing was nice i must admit the passing was very very nice you can't ask for much from your center back i enjoyed the passing really really well and the dribbling the dribbling also wasn't terrible for a six foot seven player yep he's driven dribbling wasn't bad at all then he's defending yes defending is nice bro this guy's tackling is crazy once he just gets to the player instant intercept interception bro love him bro the height the height and the strength plays a big role in this guy's game also the stamina i mean the stamina was nice as well you can definitely play him in a full game he can play a whole um 90 minutes then the jumping and the heading accuracy was also nice as well we won a few headers in the box but we couldn't get um a headed goal but yeah I mean, all around, he's a very, very good card. Very nice card. Also, the tackling ability is very nice as well. Like, sliding tackles, very, very nice. Like, literally, like, any tackle that you see that, you know, like, let me let me give an example. Like, you know those kind of tackles that you go for when you're, you panic in the box? When you know you're, like, 50% sure that you're going to get the tackle because, like, you're panicking and maybe the player is in front of you a bit. This guy, let me say, 80% of the um, times will get that tackle, bro. Like, you, like, literally you get the tackle spot on because of his height and his reach so yeah his tackles are really really nice so um I'll let's compare him to a few center backs first center back being Ruben Diaz 96 overall I'll be honest even though this other shoe guy is six foot seven and Ruben Diaz I think he's like five foot ten or six foot oh six foot two bro <laughs> I don't know the height of players in this game bro but like Diaz is six foot two I'll be honest I'm taking Diaz over that guy bro I feel like oh, honestly I feel like on a true tackling ability 100% is better than Diaz but I don't know Diaz just feels way smoother during transi transitions than this on a true guy so for that reason I'll take um Diaz over on a true if I'm to pick between on a true and this Gwendozi guy 100% in the center back position I'm going with on a true even though I know Gwendozi has like five star five star but I'll still go with um on a true because yeah on a true tackling ability in that center back position is crazy so if I'm to go ahead and rate him in the four tiers I have work class very good decent and not decent hmm this is, this is a sticky one he's really good he's very 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 good the question is he is he good enough to go in the work class tier yes i'll put him there yeah i'll put him in the world class here i would i would i'll put him in the world class here the fact that this guy only costs one team an 85 rated squad 
bro it's crazy to me bro i'll put him in the world class yeah, yeah i just had to think about it for a bit you know you know replay the past game plays in my mind but yeah really really good center back very cheap most do sbc in my opinion even though you don't have um a premier league team or you don't have a um nigerian like player on your team just do him you know you can keep him on the bench because it's five rated team for this card is a must do it's just like someone like miliko vitavic was really cheap and crazy good so yeah in my opinion a must do sbc so that's it for the video guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button also comment down below your thoughts on this card and also don't forget to subscribe as well and for now peace